Hospitals in the United States serve millions of patient meals each day. You're talking about hospital food, right? It doesn't taste good no matter how much salt you put on it. Most hospitals, it really seems that food is kind of there because the patients happen to be staying overnight and we kind of have to feed them. Make it simple. There's so many options in the hospital. There's so much waste you wouldn't believe it. It's scary. They're from Finland and they said, oh, we could not believe. I'm not trying to put down the hospital, but they said we could not believe the waste in that kitchen. And she proceeded to tell me that in her hospitals, even large hospitals, they were given two or three choices, vegetarian, meat option of the day, and soup. And it was delicious, it was beautiful, and there was no waste. How hospitals can reduce food waste. A standard 1,000 patient bed hospital can serve nearly 3,000 patient meals every day. According to a research published in 2022, measuring the waste produced in hospitals, food waste accounts for 20% to 30% of a hospital's daily total disposable waste, with some hospitals reaching as high as 65%, and other hospitals report throwing out more than one ton of food every day. According to the National Library of Medicine, the plate most often wasted were vegetables or potatoes with 55% being discarded. Some reasons for patient plate waste in hospitals include patients with low or loss of appetite, the quality of food, portion sizes, and a patient's physical constraints. By reducing food waste, some hospitals can reduce their food purchasing costs by up to 6%. Some strategies to minimize food waste in hospitals include measuring food waste, reducing large portion sizes, adopting a room service style and a la carte menu, making food that looks and tastes better, and feeding assistants. Number one, measure. Food wastage should be monitored and audited regularly and be part of the quality management system of every hospital with the involvement of all staff. Number two, reduce portion sizes. Overly large portion sizes are reported as a problem in several studies, particularly for older patients. Focusing on portion control sizes reduces food wastage by nearly half the amount. Number three, adopt a room service style and a la carte menu. With a room service style ordering, patients can order food when they feel hungry. Allowing patients to choose what meals they wanted and when they wanted decreased both food waste and food costs. Using this system, one hospital lowered its food costs and also reduced its food waste from 45% to just 5%. Number four, feeding help. Physical constraints such as eating in bed, immobilized limbs, or age-related declines in functional ability can all significantly affect food consumption. Assisting patients during mealtimes is essential to reduce food waste. Number five, make food that looks and tastes better. Patients with low or loss of appetite account for 40% of uneaten and wasted food.
improving the quality and presentation of food to increase its appeal and acceptability to patients is an effective way to reduce food waste.